and I'm gonna come there, I'm gonna turn my live on, and I'm gonna beat her fucking ass on God. I plan on going to jail. Yeah, listen. All y'all motherfuckers, y'all know who Nicki Minaj is. Y'all better ask somebody. Look, narcotics on the beat, bitches. And I, let me, look, I, I'm getting tired of y'all niggas. Hi guys, welcome back to That Bob Dre, where we do reviews and opinion pieces on Nicki Minaj, politics, pop culture, and weird events. Please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel, and turn on post notifications so you don't miss a single post, and enjoy the video. Now you want to talk about reading? Let's talk about reading. I didn't want to talk about this at all because, fuck Lotto, but also, I knew that it was a straight lie because there's only one screenshot that exists. But Lotto has since came out and said on Twitter, Can y'all stop with the fake screenshots, please? If I said something, it would still be up. This is the only screenshot of what she allegedly said on TikTok. Apparently saying that she was going to slap Nikki. But I think that this was a ploy by either her team, some of the overzealous barbs, or the Barty gang who wants the barbs to be distracted and to promote the enemies of the kingdom. But Slot Machine really better watch herself because she can really get chin checked out this bitch. I posted about this being fake a few days ago and I just knew that this had to be a ploy for her to release new music and of course she fucking did. Her very next tweet was showing Cardi B listening to her song and coaxing her to release it. I know exactly what she's doing and I'm not shocked. There's only two scenarios Either this here. song becomes a TikTok trend or it flops. Doesn't even reach the bubbling under. Only a woman with a character flaw would do such a thing. And why are we talking about karate coochies? Every next case. Next case. The next on the docket is... Big Sister General. <laughs> So there's a lot going on with this case and I will be going over it after it's done with an overview because there's too much of me talking and discussing bitches that I don't give a fuck about. A few things to note is that Kelsey has immunity, transactional meaning circumstantial, so this is not full immunity. And she gave her testimony on Megan Thee Stallion but it is conflicting just as it has been from the beginning of the case. Megan gave some testimony as well and the court was finally able to listen to the 80 minute deposition of Kelsey Nicole. So since there's so many moving parts I suggest everyone migrates to Milagro Graham's Instagram to watch her do lives after she goes from the courthouse live. She takes very great notes and she makes the information clear and concise and easy to digest. But I did want to shed some light on the fact that NBC News wanted to come for the bad bitch Milagro Grams because she was reporting on the Tory and Meghan case and she was actually getting a lot of traction into me from my perspective and my opinion, humbly. I think that they feel threatened by the fact that the new media is getting way more attention than their platforms. I've been following the Tory Lanez trial really closely. So I was surprised when I saw this viral tweet saying that Megan's team confirmed she slept with him during her court session. It was tweeted on Monday, but Megan didn't even make a court appearance until Tuesday. So I looked into this account, Rap House TV. It covers hip hop news and it has a really big following of over a quarter million people, but it's not verified, whatever that means nowadays. Rap House TV sourced this information from Milagro Grams. She is a hip hop commentator who has been reporting on the trial from inside the courtroom. Milagro Grams tweeted this on Monday. Monday, which implies that Megan's team was in the courtroom. But Megan doesn't even have a team that's playing a role in this case because she's not the one on trial. Blah, 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 bitch. Bullshit motherfucking semantics because you know damn well that the prosecution is working for Megan's favor. So obviously that's her quote unquote team and that's exactly what Actually Malabra referring meant, to bitch. the prosecution, not Megan's lawyers. Still, people ran with this claim and the misinformation went viral. The Rap House TV tweet has now been deleted, but before then, users using Twitter's community notes feature were able to add a clarification underneath. <laughs> Oh no ma'am, I ain't like that. And they be talking about Tori and his PR team, but obviously hers is working overtime because she got that Gail King interview and she has NBC News itself on their official TikTok coming for bloggers about semantics and misinformation when it's not really misinformation and it has been confirmed that she did sleep with that man and she lied for no fucking reason. Just like when she brought her grown ass on live and told everyone that she got shot in both feet when she in fact didn't get shot at all in any foot. She actually got 
lot, if anything, a graze in one of her fucking feet. And then you got the best friends out here making statements, talking about, I feel so bad for what my sister is going through. Yeah, she trying to secure her rent because I heard that Megan was paying Kelsey rent for a year after that whole incident popped off. But if Tori had done the same thing, trust and believe they would have been calling it a bribery. Hey, oh, no, I don't even want to do this. During a confidential section of the Young Thug Rico trial, the Zoom call that is playing right in front of the man with the gray hair and the blue suits was infiltrated by an unknown hacker and displayed gay porn on the monitor for an extended period of time. People were going off on social media thinking immediately that this was Young Thug committing sexual acts alongside other men, but that was not the case. With many people calling out the music industry and calling it a humiliation ritual and stuff like that. But, as it was explained by the media that was present, it seems as though that the Zoom call was in fact infiltrated and displayed a collage of gay porn videos for an extended period of time during that trial. But know this, it was not Young Thug. Now Nick's gay. Cosby B decided to opt into the same old formula that, that she employs each and every time she's trying to release a single, I was just about to say, or an album, but we all know it's been five years and she still hasn't released that, so let's just stick with single. The Queen of Surgery releases a new song with Rosalia, and given the coincidental release, I think that the leaks were for clout. It seems to me that she didn't have any other way to promote her music other than using the barbs in the four particular bloggers on YouTube that she knows for sure are going to run with anything and everything that she does. It's tiring Next and we're over it. Next on the docket is Nicki Minaj is on hiatus again. Please do not forget to stream to Gotaka and to go and stream Super Freaky Girl. All three versions and you need to go and watch the videos. The new goal for Super Freaky Girl is 40 million and Tuko Taka has already surpassed 70 million so we're gonna shoot for 100. Basically, don't forget as you're streaming casually that you can just go and watch the video as you come up across the song on your playlist or something like that. But anyways, thank you guys so much for making it to the end of this video. I appreciate each and every one of my subscribers. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know down below exactly what you feel about Lotto's new song and Cardi's new song because I definitely did not want to listen to it myself. Let me know how you're feeling about the Megan situation. Have an amazing day and stream to Kotaka and bitch, Super Freaky Girl. Bitch, fuck you bitch in that weird nasty shaped ass airplane that look like a condom by the bag. Don't do it, Megan Thee Stallion, bitch! You bet the fuck not! <laughs> this whole Nikira took the Jeep and ran. Uh... That whole Nikira is an evil bitch! Megan Thee Stallion didn't kill me! That's what I get for talking all that shit! DeAndre, what you doing here? Wait a minute, let me skate up in it. See a face that they hate.